everyone, so today I'm just going to be doing a quick little currently reading video, uh, Monday reads if you will, uh, that's if I upload it on Monday. I'm currently reading three books, I've been reading them for quite a long time, it's currently like the 18th or the 19th of August and I'm pretty sure I only finished one book this month so far. Needless to say I'm very behind in my reading challenge, 13 books to be exact, I am behind. That is the most behind I have ever been in all four years of being on Goodreads. It's tragic really. But I thought today I would just tell you the three books that I'm currently reading that I'm very much hoping to finish within the next few days. The first one that I've been reading for the longest time is actually I'm reading it on audiobook but it is The Secret Garden. I've got out my physical copy just so I can kind of see physically how far I am into the book because I can't really tell based off the audiobook but that is about how far I am into it. The audiobook is narrated by Karen Gillan who is a really great actress. She's in like The Avengers and Jumanji and she played Amy Pond in Doctor Who. I'm a really big fan of her. She just has a really great narrating voice for audiobooks. So I actually got it off of iTunes but I can't make the speed go any faster on iTunes which is kind of annoying but I also feel like I'm absorbing more listening to it at the normal pace. But yeah, because of that, it is taking me quite a bit longer to get through it than it normally would for me to either read it on a faster pace or just read it physically. So I think I'm about two hours, two and a half hours away from the end of the book. Hopefully I can finish it before the end of the week. I like to listen to it while doing my makeup and stuff like that. So yeah, that is the first book that I'm reading and... I, like I said, I don't, maybe I didn't say it. I'm currently really enjoying it. She's a very good narrator, and even though the story isn't super interesting, it is just like a really kind of peaceful story just to listen to, and it has a good message behind it, so I am enjoying it. The second book that I started is Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the third and final book in the Illuminae Files trilogy. I have been reading this series over the past few months, and I think I read Illuminae one month, Gemina the very next next month and now it's been like two months since reading that so I'm finally getting around to starting this. I feel like I kind of forgot what happened in the last book. I have a very horrible memory when it comes to books. I say it all the time on my channel because it's honestly the worst. So I'm only about 157 pages into this and I'm still kind of trying to like catch up with what's going on. That being said, I am still really enjoying it, just like the other two books in the series. I just love the characters. I love the formatting of it. It somehow makes me feel even more connected to the characters, just hearing them talk through, like, messaging and stuff. So yeah, I, I really love this series, and I'm really excited to see how it concludes. And then the final book that I'm reading is actually a non-fiction book. It's called From Here to Eternity by Caitlin Doty. The tagline is Traveling the World to Find the Good Death. I read Smoke Gets in Your Eyes, and other stories from the crematory by the same author a few months ago and I really enjoyed it. If you don't know who Caitlin Doty is, she is a mortician and she runs a funeral home in LA but she also is a YouTuber and she makes videos about death and things relating to being a mortician in funeral homes and also other cultures and the way society thinks about death. So what this book is about is basically her traveling around the world and looking at these different cultures and seeing what they think of death and their kind of like rituals I suppose on when a loved one dies, how they handle it as a society. It's really kind of eye-opening because a lot of other cultures around the world handle death a lot differently than we do in America. How we just kind of, if someone dies, you just kind of hand them off to a funeral home and they completely take care of the body and handle all that. Whereas in these other cultures, the body will stay in a home for a long time and the family will be responsible for taking care of it and dressing it and washing it. Like I said, it's really quite interesting and eye-opening and kind of changes your perspective on death and that kind of thing. So I'm really enjoying it. I find it really interesting. Obviously, if you're not into that kind of stuff, then it would be less interesting for you. So yeah, those are the three books that I am currently reading. Comment down below. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. I'd love to discuss them with you in the comments. No spoilers though because I obviously haven't finished them yet. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! You hear that, Samson?